Hi guys, welcome to Car and Mechanical. Today I'm going to show you my new vinyl cutter that I've got. We're going to go through an unboxing and I'll talk through the things that I'm unpacking here. Now the model number is an MH721. It was £300 on eBay. Now luckily I got a 20% off code so I got it for £240. eBay do that very occasionally and you have to jump on it. So it comes with six reels of vinyl, two black, two white, two red and some transfer tape. So we'll show that being used a bit later on. We also get these little tweezers and a squeegee. Now I'm gonna put the cutter together and skip ahead in a minute, but we'll unpack the other box as well. And I'm also gonna go through how this ties into the car and mechanical channel. Trust me, it is gonna get used on the cars. So we've got the first box unpacked. We can go to the second one. That's the main bulk of the kit that we want. So we've got the actual cutter itself in here. So it's quite a big piece of kit. So I'm going to pull this out and we'll see what's within the box. And it's quite well packed as well. Um, there was nothing that I really had to do here too much. So I think in that little box there is the power cords and some drivers and stuff. And then we can take out the actual cutter itself. So I'm just going to go and put that somewhere secure in a moment. And then you've got the stand underneath. Now if you go to the, um, the guys that sell these on eBay, they give you the full instructions for how to put it all together. So that's why I'm not going to do it. It does take a little bit of time, um, and you do have to sort of make sense of the instructions, but it's absolutely no problem to put it together. I did the whole thing in about half an hour, and the setup for this is an absolute piece of cake. Uh, I built 3D printers, and this is so much easier. So here's a look at all of the kit laid out, and we're going to jump straight ahead to showing you how it looks once it's been set up, and after I've done some test prints, test cuts even, and I've now got used to it, I've trimmed it, and I'm going to go straight into a video of it being used. Right, so as I leave this to do its thing, and it's very noisy, um, I'm just going to explain the plans for it. So basically, with the Honda Jazz, I've already set out some of the plans for it. would be to make some uh, vinyls for that, to turn it into a budget attache as such for my wife. I'm going to be doing some stuff for the Audi as well, on the interior to sort of restore some stock parts, but also on the outside. Uh, I'm going to go for quite a unique budget look on that, and I'm going to keep that there for now. We'll see as it goes along. Uh, I might actually turn the Audi into a rotating um, vinyl design, so I'll change it every couple of months. Now these are what I've just run off. These are just literally some test car and mechanical uh, channel vinyls. Now I'm just going to take some of this vinyl off here and show you how I'm using it. Now on this small size that I'm doing, which is probably about 6 to 7 inches in its total length, it's a bit too small for the cutter's 45 degree blade to get a perfect cut on. Uh, when I do some larger ones, and I've got an example of that above these in a minute, when I do the larger ones it gets a better cut, um, it gets the better angles, and on this, because of the angles it's trying to cut at, sometimes the letters stick. Now if I get a 60 degree blade I think I can cut the smaller stuff easier, so there's some playing around to do. Uh, initially just to get things to curve as I wanted it to as well, I had to play around with the images, um, I had to get like some really high 4K images just for the text and then shrink it down for the cutter because otherwise the way that I uh, trace around the lines wasn't working very well. So what I'm going to show you here is I'm just going to quickly show you the process as such you know, with my very limited time with the vinyl cutter for how I'm making the vinyl and how I'm going to stick them on. And I'm just going to stick one on the back of my Amazon Kindle Fire that I use for watching stuff when I'm doing uh, bits in the garage and around the house. And there's the difference between large and small ones. Now, the weird zooming on this is because I'm using a DSLR with 50mm lens, so I've had to set the tripod up in a funny way. And uh, we're going to be careful. I'm not totally successful here to not cover up uh, Dulcich and Freiburger signatures that I got at the EBC break event in Northampton for Roadkill, which was pretty cool. Uh, I think I do cover it a bit, but don't worry, I'll take it off and I'll recover it. So I'm just working out any of the air bubbles here. And the transfer tape, what this does, it lifts it off the original backing for the vinyl and it will then let it stick down and we're going to put it down in a second. Uh, hopefully that makes sense when I'm explaining that. I'm still getting used to all of this and so far these are still my sort of my test cutouts. Uh, I actually did a whole bunch at once not to waste any vinyl. Um, if anyone within the UK fancies a couple of the ones that otherwise I won't be using let me know and I'll send them out. Uh, I think I've got five to ten here so uh, yeah just make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below and I'll send a couple out to a couple of people within the UK or Europe if you want. So what we will do is um, you sort of get your leading edge on as such and you make sure you get your placement quite nice. Now again, these are my sort of test pieces and as I play around with the blades and play around with the designs and stuff, 
uh, you notice that a little bit of the eyes missing off of these because of it came off because of the angle for the cutting was too tight um, this is just me getting used to it but what I found already when I do stuff that's twice as big as this it cuts so much nicer so the stuff that's going to go on a car should be should be great right so when you put the vinyl down you just sort of work it all over and the surface of a Kindle isn't great to do that with because it's all textured but it does go on it does fit quite nicely so this is just sort of my announcement for what I'm going to be doing with the cutter and this is just giving you a practical kind of example of what I've done whilst I've been testing it out. So it's going to get used on the Honda Jazz, it's going to get used on the Audi, it's going to get used on the Porsche as well. So the Porsche insignias that have gone, or the Porsche lettering uh, and anything that's faded off of that paint by the time it's all been fixed, I can replace that. And again, when you're putting the vinyl on, it's just a case of, it's kind of very slow and methodical. You can't rip it off like you would a plaster. You have to just sort of pull it back over itself. And there you go, it's on. So there you go, might be a bit of an odd one for you, maybe not a normal kind of video that I'd do. Okay guys, thank you for watching, hope you found that interesting. If you do have any comments or feedback, please leave them in the comment section down below. Please share the video with anyone that you think it would be interesting to. If you've got any ideas for what I could do with the cutter, let me know. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching.